welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm Mary Trimble with your readings for November the 5th through November the 11th. Um, thank you guys so much. I can't believe it. Two weeks in a row I have the most uh, subscribers I've ever had. I am so grateful to you. Thank you. If you're new, welcome. I'm really happy that you stopped by and I hope you come back and I hope you really like these readings. And if you are coming back, I so appreciate your loyalty and your consistent love and appreciation and support of um, this channel. Thank you so much. Um, now, uh, guys, there's a, there's a, a, new moon coming up in the middle of the week. So I'm going to do individual horoscopes at the beginning of each video. This is just the intro. This is a general reading, guys. It's a collective reading. Um, there may be a little bit of the message for you. There may be a lot of it. Um, and it may be for somebody else. So take what resonates and just leave the rest. If nothing resonates, please come back next week because you may have a message in there for you. You know, I channel uh, messages from my guides. I use the tarot as a tool and I've had some really amazing feedback. Um, so I want to thank all my spirit guides and my angels and spirit animals for these wonderful, um, this wonderful blessing of being able to give these messages. I'm very appreciative. Now, uh, what else? Um, so if you would like a personal reading, guys, click on this right here and it'll take you to my website. You can see the kind of uh, readings that I give. Choose one, purchase one, and then contact me and we'll make an appointment. Um, what else? Um, yes, and another way to support me is through Patreon. Um, and you can click on this for Patreon, this link here, and uh, that will take you to my Patreon page and you can make a one-time donation. It's just a little way of, you know, giving back if you can. If you can't, that's totally fine. Please um, give back by liking, sharing, commenting and subscribing. Um, so, uh, without further ado, oh, and also if you want to ask a quick question, you can find me on Instant Go. All the uh, links will be in the show more section below. And let's go to your reading, shall we? Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your reading for November the 4th through November the 11th. And guys, thank you so much. You knocked it out the park. I think it was over 2K uh, views. Thank you. I really appreciate you. Thank you, guys. Um, okay, so what's going on astrologically? Oh, I can't even say it. What's going on astrologically for you guys, uh, Gemini? So your horoscope this week is that you're going to have this feeling of wanting to change things, almost like you want to move. Oh, spirit is here. You want to either, and, and I have a feeling it's around your home or your, your environment where you're living, maybe a city, maybe you've got this feeling that you want change. You want to change it in some way. Um, some of you may actually move apartments or cities or countries even. Um, and some of you may find you have to su suddenly move. It's going to be kind of intense and emotional this week for all of us. Anyway, with this new moon in Scorpio, it's a very intense um, emotional time. Um, what I will say about it is I think that you will navigate through those emotions intellectually. So uh, they may not affect you as deeply as others uh, in that case. It is affecting you at home and um, your roots, your parents, in, in that respect, it's going to affect you. Now, your mind could possibly explode as Jupiter um, moves into Sagittarius. You are going to get some brilliant, incredible ideas, and they're going to come in so fast that you're just going to be, the energy is going to be palpable. So it's really important for you to write these things down and as fast as you can, maybe even dictation because writing them, you're not going to have enough time to write them. But these are really, this is an incredible opportunity for you, uh, uh, Gemini, to completely change the trajectory of your life and really for the better. This is expansion at its biggest 
um, you know, uh, meaning. And and your your you know your uh, Gemini is number three, and you know it's all about the intellect. You will have brilliant ideas. I will just say, think big. Do not limit yourself, because the sky, actually, the cosmos, um, is the limit. And beyond. Um, so I would just say you're going to feel really energized, not only intellectually, but also physically. You will feel excited and optimistic. And remember that this energy you, will expand whatever you're feeling. So make sure you are feeling positive and set your intentions with this new moon because you have a really, um, I I, I see abundance in all areas of your life, in love, in, you know, uh, material wealth, um, in, um, in satisfaction overall, um, in, in total fulfillment. I really do see that for you, Gemini. It is, I feel that you're, it's really exciting for you. I, I, I don't even know what else, what other words to use. Um, so brilliant. Let's go to your card, shall we? And the first card out for you is the four of ones, darling. This is, char um, it's charismatic energy. It's, look, it's a, it's a, it's like the foundation. It's like four posters and it's, it, and it's, they're connected. They're connected with flowers in this. In some, in some uh, tarot cards, it's, it's light. I see light here. I see that things are really um, exciting. Look, things, this is a beautiful foundation. And I feel that those brilliant ideas that you're getting is the foundation for a wonder. And this is celebrate. Look, the four of ones is passion. It's celebratory. It's celebrating. It's just exciting. It's dancing. It's the completion of something. It could be the completion of an idea. Oh, and look what you have, darling. The Wheel of Fortune. What did I say? Listen, um, whatever project you're working on is going to be a success. Well, and so I would definitely say if you're working on a project currently, it is going to take off. This is a wonderful, wonderful energy. And I really believe that um, all the ideas that you could come up with this week are just going to you know, if you manifest them, if you really work at them, if you write them down, they're going to take off. And look, there you go. You've got the fall. Is this the fall? No, this is the hanged man. Oh, this is the hanging man. Okay, sorry. He looks like the fall in the other cards. So the hanging man is like a pause in action to think and to see things in a different light. This is brilliant. This is like things are going to come to you. It's about thinking outside the box. It's, about, it's, it's definitely what's going to happen for you. It's about considering things in a different light. You are going to come up with something brilliant. Now, the only, that what's, what's clarifying that is the devil, right? And the devil is all about the material uh, realm. It's about addiction. So it's about you know, overdoing things. So be careful about overdoing things. Be careful about just staying in. It's important to get out there. You've got these brilliant ideas. You need to get out there with them, right? You need to get them off the uh, off the ground. Um, so this, don't drink too much. It's about celebrating. Don't stay at the party too long. Um, just be just be mindful because remember whatever you. Uh, whatever you focus on is going to expand. So focus on creativity, focus on wonderful things, not things that are going to take you out of your concentration, like too much drinking or too much eating or whatever it is, too much television. You know, if you're sitting on uh, at home and the, in, watching the television, you're not getting anything done, right? You're not participating in life. You're not moving forward to your goal and creating the life uh, that you desire. So that's what I would say. He's just a little warning of not to, um, not to overdo things this week. It's not to be distracted. 
That's exactly the words I'm getting. Don't get distracted by things that are going to take you away from your uh, trajectory. Now, the next card you have is the lovers, darling. Remember I said you've got abundance in all areas of your life. There you go. And you know what's clarifying it? The Ace of Cups. This is a new love coming in for you. I really feel that some of you are going to meet someone that's very... Look, I told you, this is an abundance of everything coming for you, uh, Gemini, this week. It's really a wonderful, positive experience. I feel that this is a new love that's going to take off. And I do feel that you are gifted with intuition and um, psychic abilities this week. And you are being asked to trust your gut feeling. So, um, darling, love, abundance. Look, the wheel of fortune is turning in your direction. Darling, I'm telling you, this is it for you, Gemini. This is wonderful. I've got my Venus in Gemini. Oh, I could be getting a new love. <laughs> it can also mean that if you are in a relationship, you can rekindle that falling in love feeling all over again. You can fall in love with your partner all over again. It's that kind of energy. Gemini, I can't thank you enough for tuning in. I really appreciate you and you have no idea how much. Um, don't forget to like this video, share it on your social media, please. Um, comment. I love comments and feedback. And if you haven't already and you're watching this for the first time, please subscribe. Mwah! I love you all and I'll see you next week. <laughs>